How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Boss is back with some more Star Wars Force Arena updates. Uh, yeah, so I just noticed I may be late to the game. You guys may already know this, but I'm finding out for the first time. Update 1.6 details are up on the um, uh, Mo Mobium, Mobium dot com. Yeah, no, okay, anyways, yeah, I can't say that maybe. Um, we're checking them out together. I haven't seen them yet, so let's see what this says. All right, squad leaders, welcome to Star Wars Force Arena 1.6 update. We will be bringing you two special leaders, two more leaders, really, in celebration of um, the 40th anniversary of Star Wars Force Arena. This update will bring two very special leaders, as well as multiple quality of life updates. Take a look below and let us know what you think. Okay, Rebel Alliance 40th Anniversary Luke. A 40th Anniversary Luke, and for the Galactic Empire, a 40th Anniversary Vader. Oh. Oh, are these are the concept, the concept art from the original movies. Like, I think that's how they, you know, how they were detailed to look like in the original movies. More information will be available once balance details have been released. These limited legendaries will be available for a short period of time. Are you serious? So these are like, these aren't just legendaries. These are like unique legendaries. And by unique, I mean like, un like the card is un unique. But, okay. So, whoa, this is insane. Okay, I hope, I hope I can get these cards for you guys so I can show them. On the 40th anniversary of the birth of Star Wars, 40th anniversary Luke Skywalker joins the Rebel Alliance. This special character was designed by Ralph McQuarrie, whose concept art helped design the base of Star Wars universe. Although this character was originally pinned as Deke Starkiller, his name was changed to Luke Skywalker once the script for the movie had been completed. This character has a completely different visual aesthetic compared to Luke Skywalker. The laser duo concept art style Luke with his respirator and a thin yellow lightsaber. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Take 40th anniversary Luke into the battlefield now. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, uses his lightsaber to um, definitely attack enemies near him at a distance. Will use his laser pistol to engage enemies. Alright, so he's like Ezra. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Okay. His, uh, con uh, concessive, oh my god, concessive, uh, attack will lunge with his lightsaber dealing damage in a small area and knocking foes back. His skill will use the force to create a kinetic blast centering from himself, dealing damage and push pushing enemies back deals more damage to tech units what so ATST has someone to fear besides Chaba <laughs> he will be available in a deer deer crate tier one unlike other leaders 40th anniversary Luke does not guys I repeat does not have a unique so I'm telling you guys, these are unique legendaries that are combined together. That's what it is. All right, let's get into the 40th anniversary Vader. It's also based on the laser duel concept by Ralph McQuarrie. This version of Darth Vader is inspired by Japanese samurai. Oh, I love samurai, so yeah. His crude lightsaber is blue, which is a significant, significant, wow, I can't speak this morning. Holy crap. Step away from the red lightsaber we now see from the Sith. His movements are much more agile than Darth Vader we know. Let the Rebels remember the original face of the Galactic Empire by bringing 40th Anniversary Vader to the battlefield. Wow. Alright, so his features. Swings his lightsaber skillfully attacking enemies in close proximity. With his outstanding marksmanship skills to eliminate enemies at a distance. Oh, he might have a blaster. Okay. His uh, consecutive attack 
will throw his lightsaber to damage for, uh, first and strongly slash the enemy after jump. Hmm, interesting. Sounds so cool. His skill will pull around, uh, enemies around him to slash everything in range. Okay, so it's kind of like Vader's regular um, skill. Whenever another leader is slain in battle, 40th anniversary Vader will heal himself as a special ability. That is something I wanted to see in this game. And, and, and there we go. He will be available in Dior Crate Tier 1. Unlike other leaders, 40th anniversary Vader does not have a unique card. Okay. Wild cards. What is this? Wild card is a new type of card that is available in various packs. This wild card will work similarly to um, a selector. However, it will only be able to give you cards which have which you have previously unlocked the wild card selector will show you how many cards it is worth times one times two and will show cards based on the t on your tier and faction once you have chosen a card those cards will be added to your collection okay interesting so you can only receive one wild card per pack once you selected the wild card, it will be added straight to your inventory. If the application closes before select, you can choose your card the next time you log in. That's good. You can get wild cards in packs from store at a certain chance. Hmm. Wild packs appear in the shop packs of any tier. Okay, cool. Alright, what's this? Shop UI changes. Okay. Ah making the shop just a little bit better thank you you can now purchase multiple of the cards from the in-game store finally something to make buying cards easier okay guild chat will now have a filter for replays thank you because that's definitely something that was a little annoying with the past updates Let's see when selecting cards all right that's also something i want i personally wanted to see they're now when you you know they ask you hey select a card you get f 10 free cards which one do you want you you know want then i would have to like go back look at the cards uh, which one am i close to up uh, to leveling up <laughs> so now i know cool all right that helps Let's see what's this we have cleaned up the way cards are presented when requested details information will be shown before you confirm your request Okay, so wait, what does that mean? They have cleaned it up. I mean, maybe, maybe it made it look a little better. Maybe? I can't tell. Oh, well, not a big change there. Let's see, season reset rewards. Okay. Oh, okay. Um,. See, credits given at the end of the season have been replaced with more crystals. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. So they, they got rid of, it looks like they got rid of the credits. Because people are like, what's the point, right? No? See, the graphics option now allows you to turn the specs way down low. This should allow low spec devices um, the ability to play more smoothly than before. If you try to activate this graphics quality the game will need to download a new data okay okay that's pretty cool I know a lot of you guys are having problems with the game um, I'm, I'm not sure what devices you guys use but um, this could help you guys um, sadly you're gonna have like really bad quality um, probably like it's gonna look worse so um, but at least you'll be able to play the game a lot smoother and you know It'll be better Let's see we have a respawn indicator a new visual indicator has been added to the scoreboard the circle around the okay so not only do you have a counter but you have a little meter uh draining to let you know how long till you spawn okay Let's see other changes your faction level now displays next to your faction icon in the main lobby a new push notification can be activated that allow that will allow the game to send a notice if you are able to request a card okay new guild message has been added to the tier menu 
The starter pack package will now be available in Duracate tier squad leaders only. Okay, so this is a, a pretty exciting update. I think with those new leaders, well, those limited time leaders, man, and they did some of the changes are pretty good. Um, I definitely like the wild cards. Um, allow you to choose, you know, uh, what legendary you wanna put your cards towards, which is good. Um, a couple of these, like you know, UI changes, just to make the game a little clear, cleaned up, you know, uh, better play. Um, and also this right there, being able to buy multiple ones, that's gonna help a lot. Um, for I mean, when when I'm a new, you know, when I was a new player to this, I was always buying stuff from the shop. So yeah, I wish I had that before, but yeah, all right. Let me know, guys, what you think down below. Um, I am excited. What do you guys think about these new unique list legendaries? Um, did you guys even know about these guys? Um, how Luke used to actually look originally, how they wanted him to look, and how Darth Vader, Darth Vader, as you can tell, didn't change too much. But if you guys have watched Rebels, they took the original Darth Vader that's in the movies and mix them up a little bit with the concept art and uh, hence the thin lightsabers as well because uh, that was how it looked in the concept art um, you know what let me see if I can look up the picture real quick um, Trying to see if I can find that picture that has both this Luke. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Here's one. All right, guys. So, where did it take me? No, I wanted to see the picture bigger. Come on. View image. All right, there we go. So, yeah, this is where they're inspired by. And look at that. Dark Darth Vader looks awesome. That Luke looks awesome. Oh, man, they're going to look awesome. I hope I can get these guys. Um, I've been lucky to have gotten, like, Hera, Chopper, and Seven Sister and Fifth Brother early on. So, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to be trying really hard to get these guys for you. Because I want to show them off. And I want to have them in my deck collection. I need to have them. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. And if you're new around town, subscribe. I put up gameplay videos and update videos every single day. As long as... You know, there's updates to put up. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like always, peace.